Hello and welcome back to Capsized. I am Messina. I am the only one on the podcast today. Um, not sure when everyone else will be back, but I will be doing it for the f- next few times. I am sick, so mind the sniffling that I'll be doing and how I sound, but I um, I am I'm okay. I'm fine. Just a stuffy nose. So we uh, we've missed a little bit of it. I'm gonna just recap as much as possible and go back and talk about some of the stuff. Um, so Laker Day happened right before Thanksgiving break. Uh, we had bingo, uh, hypnotist, lip syncing. Uh, hypnotist was really fun. I was with the seniors and sophomores. And then there was another hypnotist for the freshmen and juniors, which is really cool. Uh, both of them was really fun. I saw a little bit of both. Uh, for lip sync battle, seniors won. Uh, they did um, pop to the top from High School Musical, which is really fun. It had a ladder. Uh, really, as a throwback to a few years ago, actually, they did something else from High School Musical, which is really fun. Uh, who else? Another good one was the junior class um, did a Christmas song, which was really fun. Uh, Drama Club just uh, did Footloose. It was really fun. We did it for three days. We did it for a Thursday, Saturday, and a Sunday. Really fun. It was uh, the great group of people. Hopefully, most of them will be coming back for the play. We do not know what the next musical will be, nor do we know what the play will be. But when that happens and gets announced, I'll uh, talk about that. I was a stage manager for the uh, production, and so was Kat Quinn. And it was really fun. It was really great. Uh, I will probably talk more about Footloose and more of the like production process because we missed a lot of that, which is really fun. Maybe get a few other people talking about it on the podcast, but we'll figure that out. Um, Freedom of Therapy Dog. Uh, So we have a therapy dog now at Silver Lake uh, that teachers can sign up for having come into their classroom, and they do a lot of it. I have yet to see the therapy dog, so I actually couldn't tell you. (laughs) But a lot of kids really, really love um, the dog, and we're going to be getting another dog soon. They come every other Friday, which is really fun. Um, starting on 1216, class of 2025, we'll be selling magnets, uh, $8 for decals, $5, uh, they make great Christmas gifts or gifts in general, any holiday, they'll be selling those. The winter, the winter concert is also on the 16th, uh, it will be on PAC TV and broadcasted on WATD, uh, and Christmas Eve, uh, and Christmas Day. Uh, They are really good. I know a lot of the choir kids. Uh, The musicals are always really fun. Musicals. The uh, concerts are always really fun. So if you have a chance, you should go see that. Really, really talented. Uh, Sports. We missed a lot of sports uh, since we've been gone. So I'm going to talk about the recap and then what's coming up. So uh, sports standings. Cheer got third in the States. Girls soccer was a D2 finalist. They came to the last two games. I went to all the playoff games. They're really good. Uh, the girls are absolutely phenomenal. They did. It was so fun. I got to take pictures for them a lot of the season. Uh, Cross country girls. Two girls made it to the individual placings. Uh, it was Sammy and Summer. They did really good. Both of them. Um, sorry. Uh, they did both really good, and I do uh, track team, so I still get to run with them. Um, coming sports is going to be more about track, um, hockey, basketball, trying to think of the other sports that we have right now. Their uh, gymnastics is coming up, wrestling. It's a lot more sports, so we'll talk about more of those as they come. Uh, boys basketball will be playing at the Garden on Sunday, the... 116 tickets are $20. So our team is going to be playing at the uh, TD Garden, which is really fun. And then on 1223, upcoming student and faculty basketball game is going to be during school. Uh, you bring your money or non perishable food in order to get a ticket to watch the game. Um, or you can watch online from the classroom instead of actually like being in the uh, gym. They always do this. It's always really fun. A lot of the teachers, some of them are like actually really competitive, and then some of them are just like kids' favorites, so they just volunteered. Uh, a lot of the kids are actually really good at playing it. It's really funny to watch it because it, oh, it can just go two ways. 
Um, I don't know. So the uh, I did Footloose, which is really, really fun. Um, I was the only one in the podcast group t- was in it. I was also in a scene. It was weird because of COVID, but we had to wear masks, but it wasn't like the regular surgical mask. We had to, uh, we wore like plastic ones that like sat on your jaw, uh, which were loud, which was worked out fine. Sounded great with the mics. The show, I mean, I mean, compared to the last year's one, which is Little Mermaid, it was better because you got to be in person. So that was really cool. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing more of the smaller plays along with the, um, the end of the season one or end of the like school year one um possibly Shakespeare I hope they bring that back that was really really fun when we did it so we'll see what comes up with those but other than that there's not that much of an update a lot of us are applying to colleges so we're just really busy doing other things um especially I was with the musical and I do track at the same time it's just really hard to get time to do it all together we're gonna try to get more podcasts rolling out for everyone um, we want to get more people to interview. So if there's any teachers and so we're like listening, um, you always can come down to the library and ask Miss Matthias or send an email, uh, which would be really fun. We haven't really done much on the podcast this year and we're really sorry about that. Uh, I should be doing it more often. We want to try to get to episode 50 by the end of the year. I uh, don't know if that means that I'll be carrying it myself <laughs> or if I will be getting other people to be in it. Um, but I am going to study with my friends, so I might be able to try to get some new people to talk to, um, maybe more of the sports stuff. I don't really know what to cover quite yet other than updates, but once things start rolling better and I get more days, there'll be more like continuous conversations. Something we never covered was the story of the Lakers, which we talked so much about at the beginning, um, which is still a story we have right now, just never recorded. So I will be doing that one soon. No promises because <laughs> we've been saying that for about a year now. But um, I do want to try to get that one. It's just been really busy and we're really trying to get stuff out. Uh, Miss Matthias decorated the library. So it's all holiday um, holiday themed. She does such a really good job with uh, decorating. It's always with the season, always really fun. Uh, podcast room. Oh, we got a new AV room um, in the library. A little bit smaller, but we didn't really need the space we had before, uh, which is now a new art room because we have a new art teacher named Miss Fredette. Uh, so now there's three art rooms. We're doing murals, which is a class that was started a few years ago. We finished the mural in the cafeteria. Um, and then we started a new mural, which is the vision of the graduate, which I designed. Uh, which is different kids represented Silver Lake. So there's sports, there's um, just regular students, there is drama, there's music, CTE, multiple CTE things, um, which is cool. And then there is a one of an earth, like breaking through the bricks and saying, save us, which was designed by Cass Runkles. And then Another one done by Nina and Camograph, um, who did a butterfly mural, um, which is really fun. And then I designed the Footloose shirt recently, which was like a boot and a Converse shoe. This just said Footloose. It was really fun designing that. Did that um, a few weeks ago, right before the show. Uh, we got our shirts, uh, one of the show nights, so they looked pretty fun. We got to wear them. Um, just trying to think. I don't know. I'll update more, probably more about track because I'm in it and trying to get standings of other teams and other kids on the podcast. Um, I know that this upcoming Thursday, this probably won't be out by then, but I have it on the saying. Um, yeah, so the track team is – about the same size as it always been. The boys team is massive compared to the past few years. Um, yeah, so we have a meet. Uh, first meet is going to be November 29th, then December 9th, December 29th. Those are all like January 7th. You know, just like keep, there's like a trend with that. And then like in February, there's going to be the um, like all state divisional meets. And I'll keep updated on who makes it to those. But that seems to be it for today. Thank you for listening to the podcast. I promise to be hearing more of it. <laughs> so, 
See you on the flip side.